Good day. In this video, we're going to show you the three easy steps to multiply decimal fractions. When we multiply a decimal fraction sum, we're going to use these three steps. We're going to count the places behind the commas, take the commas out, then multiply, bring the comma back. The first multiplication sum we're going to do is 0, 0,4 times 2, comma 0 if you want. The first rule says count the places behind the commas. There's nothing behind the comma, there's one place behind the comma. We then write it down. We write one places and we circle it. We know that it's one place, but we're always going to look out for places. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the commas and multiply. So you write 4 times 2 without the commas. In this case the answer is 8. Lastly, we bring back the comma, the same amount of places that you counted in the beginning. I advise you to put extra nodes here. So you take the comma from behind the 8 and you bring it in one place forward. You write your answer in here, 0, 8. So 0, 4 times 2 is 0, 8. So firstly, we count the places behind the comma, which was 1, and we write it down, one place. Then we take out the comma and multiply normally, we get 4 times 2 is 8. Then you bring back the comma, the same amount of places that you counted in the beginning. So one place from behind. And that's how this one worked. Here's our second example, 0, 0,5 times 0, 0,4 equals. First we count the places behind the commas. There's one place behind the comma, two places behind the comma in total. So somewhere we write two places and we circle it. Second, we take the commas out and multiply. So we write 5 times 4, and we get that answer, which is 20. Lastly, we bring the comma back, the amount of places that we counted in the beginning. So we bring the comma back two places from behind. The comma is there now, so we bring it back one, two places. Then we write the answer, not comma to zero. If you know your decimals well, you may also write not comma two, but let's not go there now. Please stop the video and try and understand how we use these three steps. Right, let's do two more and see how little writing we can do. They gave us here 0, 0,1 times 0, 0, 0,2. Firstly, we count the places behind the comma. So there is two places here, one more there, that's three places in total. We write down three places and circle it. Now we take the commas out and do a normal multiplication with these numbers. So you just work out 1 times 2 and that gives you 2. Lastly, we bring back the comma 3 places from behind. We take the comma from here, we move it 3 places this way. I advise you to add on some noughts in front here. You can always take them out if you don't need them anymore. Like we said, we bring the comma in from there to there. It's 1, 2, 3 places. And write your answer here, it's 0, 0, 0, 2. The extra naught in front won't make a difference. So 0, 0,1 times 0, 0,02 will give you 0, 0,002. The next question says 2,1 times 0, 0,002. We count the places behind the comma. There is 1, 2, 3, 4 places behind the comma. We write 4 places and circle it. Then we take out the commas and do a normal multiplication sum. So we just write 21 times 2. And this normal multiplication sum's answer is 42. 21 times 2 is 42. Lastly, we bring the comma back four places from behind. So we move it up. One, two, three, four places up to there. And we write the answer over here where they asked it Please stop the video and tell yourself what the three steps were that we took to work out the answer to this decimal fraction multiplication sum. Let's now see if you can do a proper decimal fraction multiplication sum. It will look like this. It says simplify 12,73 times 0, 0,13. Firstly, we count the places behind the commas. 
you write four places and you circle it. There's two places behind here and another two over there. That is four in total. Then you take out the commas and you do a normal multiplication sum. We call it long multiplication. By now you should know how this works. If you do not understand this, send us a message to ask to send you a link explaining long multiplication. You times the 3 with that whole number and you times the 10 with that whole number. It will give you these two numbers. You add them. This is the final answer of this multiplication sum. Lastly, we bring the comma back four places from behind. The comma is there, so you move it four places. One, two, three, four places. You fill in your final answer, one comma six five four nine. When we do decimal fraction multiplication, we count the places behind the comma, write it down, four places. Take the commas out and do a normal multiplication sum, get the answer and bring the comma back four places from behind. That's our final answer. They can go a little bit further on these questions and give you 12,73 times 0,13 and say round your answer off to three decimals or three decimal places. You will then do everything that we've taught you, get up to this answer, get back to this answer. And then they said round it off to three decimals. You put your finger on the third decimal you say that must be a 4 or it must become a 5. And then this will be your final answer. You rewrite the sum, 12,73 times 0,13, round it off, will be 1,655. Look at the video on rounding off decimals. We've also have given you this problem and asked you round it off to a whole number. Still write the sum down, put the round off sign down. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3. So you go to this number and you check if you're going to leave it as a 1 or make it a 2. You look next door, this 6 will make him bigger. So this multiplication sum, rounded off to a whole number, will give you a final answer of 2. If you now understand everything that we did in this specific video and in this question, you are very clever. Because you can do a lot of things now. You can do decimal fraction multiplication, the three rules. You know how to do a long multiplication sum. You know how to round off. And you, are, and you also know what the word whole numbers mean. There's quite a lot of information in this one question. Enjoy decimal fraction multiplication. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into any decimal fraction problem that you don't understand, you may send a clear WhatsApp picture of your problem to this number and clear WhatsApp picture of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy decimal fractions.